active that's boiling hot water. <laughs> what the fuck? Let me get a paper towel and dry my moist body off before I start this shit. I'm gonna prop y'all up just motherfucking right. <clears throat> hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Crazy, and I'm motherfucking offended. I'm fucking offended as fizz up, okay? And you wanna know why I'm offended? If you don't give a fuck, then you know, just click off this video because you know, then it's not for you and I don't want you to watch my shit because you know, fuck you. Only the people that love my shit and understand me can watch me, okay? Huh. Glad we understand each other, sir. But for all y'all who do care, I'm just highly offended here. <clears throat> Tana Mojo. <laughs> oh my god, the queen of offending everybody and their whole motherfucking population. Yup, Tana Mojo. But sis, <laughs> sis is not seeing me. I devote my life, my life, to having Tana Mojo, Tana Manjojo, Tana the Big Fish, Tana the Goon, Tana the Blonde Bombshell, Tana the Do Anything for Clout Girl. <laughs> oh my god, yo, if Tana ever does watch, <laughs> Tana's gonna think. This bitch is gonna think I'm creepy, and that's not it. I'm, I'm not, not creepy. creepy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Cut. No, but for real, for real, for real, I'm offended. Because Tana, like, why won't you notice me? I'm not on Twitter all the time, you know, because I'm off of the social media, you know, ish. But, you know, I pop on every once in a while, you know, to say hey and stuff. And, you know, I've sent you a couple tweets, Tana, that, in my opinion, were like... <laughs> pretty inspirational. Not many. <laughs> I think like two because like I said like I don't really fuck with social media like that right now. So like maybe like two but any but but still. By the way um, I know my glasses are probably like leaning as the fuck because well I said no no no. I <laughs> Christian if you want to tell your subscriber something tell them something that's true. I stepped on them because my dumb ass I knew that I put these glasses on the floor because I was unpacking my suitcase from the whole um wedding weekend and I knew that I put them on the floor and I literally put a mental fucking note in my head and I said, Christian, do not step on these glasses. Christian, you see them right there. You just put them there for a second. Do not step on them. And guess what I did? stepped on the shits so they're leaning and then the other night i woke up and i saw that i was like rolled over like, onto my glasses but like they were folded but like me like rolling over onto them it made like the same leg i i don't <laughs> comment down below if um these things are called legs wait no handles handles or legs i don't know anyway but i rolled over on the same one that i had stepped on so it so it's leaning even more. so pretty much if you see my face like weirdly yeah because the, these glasses are bent and leaning and I'm a fucking idiot also the lighting I know is probably not good but I can't really put you guys anywhere else in front of this window because it would be too low for me there's a sink here that turns on automatically <laughs> yes <laughs> Yes, I got it like that. My sink turns on automatically. No, but being me, like, I would not get into the sink, and then the sink would turn on, and then I would have no camera to film anything. Not like I've been filming anything anyways, because I've been really slacking. But hey, because I would not be on YouTube for a grip if I did not have this camera. Truth to you, sister. Tana. But seriously and for real, you know, back to Tana Man Jojo. Back to Tana Jojo Siwa. Like I said, I I'm not on Twitter much, but, you know, I pop it every now and then. But I've sent you a couple tweets. I've sent you a couple tweets. You haven't noticed me. You know, I've mentioned you in a couple videos, sweetheart. I have 376 subscribers, so there's no way you would ever see me. But I'm just saying, I mentioned you in videos. Tina has become my lifelong smoke buddy, long lost friend. <laughs> That didn't make no goddamn sense. Um, no, Tana is like somebody that I seriously can vibe with on a level as if I know her. You know what? I sound insane. Where's the fucking straight jackets? But seriously, I vibe with her vibe like through the screen. And like, I know that I said before, you know, I don't hope to be friends with anybody because if I do ever get big, like I'm going to be fucking disappointed. But she's someone that I hope to come across at least because I want to know if the same vibe that I feel through the fucking camera is fucking real secondly i want to smoke with the bitch <laughs> i want to smoke with tana mojo like it's no tomorrow i feel like me and her would literally have the best conversations and i'm not just saying that because like oh my god like stoners you know we all have a connection no 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 because you know there's some people that are stoners that i really don't vibe with because they just don't 
engage my mental. <laughs> Tana seems like the type of bitch that would like really engage my thought process, you know, while I'm lifted and you know in the clouds. So like I really want to come like cross paths with Tana, meet her, talk to her, and just pick her brain. Like literally, like I would let Tana Mojo fucking rate my mind. Like pick at it, ho, <laughs> because I would be picking at hers. I don't know. Just something about her, just I connect with. I don't know, like Tana. <laughs> do you not hear like your long lost like smoke buddy calling you? Seriously, like I'm sending like like brainwaves out to you, like Tana, 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 Tana. <laughs> in Atlanta. I'm sending like waves out to you. Sis, I will treat you better than any boyfriend. I promise you. And no, I'm not trying to come at you in that way. No, 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 no. Jake can have that. Jake can have all of that. Okay, tracks and all. I sound confusing. I'm high today. <laughs> I don't know why I always have to mention that I'm high. Y'all know. Y'all know. I can't go a day without a blunt. Okay. No, but yes, I am very high in the sky with some sativa. Oh my god, sativa. I fuck with it heavy. Okay. I fuck with indica too. I fuck with like all weed, but I don't like feeling tired and like calm. Like I like feeling thinky. Like like I like feeling creative, expressive, euphoric, think deep. Like I like sativa. Okay? Okay, so <laughs> shout out to all my sativa goers. <laughs> Tana, me and you can smoke sativa together. Okay, Tana, picture this, sis. Picture this, sis. Take off your Gucci glasses, take off your slides, sit back. Picture this, sis. You just lying down, a white fur cow. I said a white for a couch. You know what? I'm gonna change it. Not a white for a couch because you know what? Smoking indoors is cool, it's chill. Smoking outdoors is better. I come out to Cali. We're sitting on a balcony. A beautiful day. Sun shining, birds are chirping, wind is blowing, palm trees are swaying. It's a good mood, good vibe. We have some Taco Bell sitting right next to us. Crab legs. Love me some crab legs. We have some Italian, some five guys, something delicious just right next to us. Okay. And Tana says to me, and guys, this is a scenario, not an actual story okay so don't so okay yeah all right so tana says to me i don't want to eat this food yet i need a nice blunt a nice blunt to complement my taste palettes before i eat this food because you know when you get high you know shit tastes better so i would turn tana and then i would slowly pull out a backwoods package now Tana, I don't know if you have fucked with, you know, backwoods before. I don't know your experience on, you know, the backwoods culture. I think you have. Actually, I think you've mentioned that you've smoked backwoods before. But... Uh, the only time that y'all will see me active is for food. My food is here. Listen, first time having this. First time having this. If you're down my way, there used to be a little um, Italian restaurant called Mario's. Cute little joint. Food, not the best. They've had a few managements over the years. They got new management. They're now called Candelor... Candel... Their brand is not anywhere on here. But they're now called Candelari... Candelario's, a name that rhymes with Mario that starts with a C. This is new management. They have added new stuff to the menu. They cook different. Last night, I ordered a um, chicken parmesan sandwich. And I put mayonnaise on it because mayonnaise is bae. I put mayonnaise on everything. And if that disgusts you, then oh well. It changed my life. The sandwich, just thinking about it, my mouth is really salivating. Listen, there might be a heavy chance of spit showers in this video because I'm serious. I will be thinking about it the whole whole time. I'm going to put the food over here, finish this video, and then I'm going to chow down like I've never fucking eaten before. I always start to film videos when I start to have the munchies. I don't know why. No, I know why. Because the only way I will get the fuck up is for food. But the only way that I will actually like enjoy the food is if I get something done. So I kind of like put food right in the back of my mind like Christian, if you get this video done, you gonna make yourself a good ass lunch. That sounds so sad. I'm food driven. What can I say? I'm not ashamed of it. Okay, I'm back. I'm focused. No more interruptions. Tana. The number of times that I fucking said Tana in this video is really crazy. So I don't know Tana's history of backwoods, but all the tubers that I watch, like, I never see them, you know, pull out of backwoods. And maybe it's because they're in Cali. I don't know if that's the culture out there. 
it's just duchess switchers and uh, joints but out here in the east coast in the suburbs of philadelphia out here in this little piece of land we love backwoods okay and i think that that's like a strong east coast thing too me growing up backwoods like weren't really a thing in my younger years it, it was always a joint or like a pipe but i feel like backwoods recently have like pushed through because like now like a lot of big time rappers smoke backwoods i'm <laughs> i'm giving you guys a speech about backwoods i just realized how annoying and long-winded i was probably sounding long story short i love backwoods i don't really see too many youtubers that you know openly smoke and you know all that i don't see too many of them pulling out of backwoods or saying they smoke backwoods so if i ever get the chance listen i'm gonna come through to the west coast and i am going to introduce y'all to a whole new culture but backwoods are like the hardest shit to roll seriously is i still can't get a hold of it i can roll like pretty good like i can roll a fat backwood don't get me wrong but it takes me a fucking minute i want to introduce it to some youtubers because i feel like y'all are not experiencing this session right but honestly like i just don't see it that much back to my story i would pull out the backwoods okay slowly tana would look at me in awe what do you have there backwoods i see and i'll be like yes tana and then she will look out into the distance turn to me again and say christian you are the man but where's the bud? Where is the bud? Don't have to say nothing. Don't have to do nothing. Reach in my pocket. Pull out a fresh pack of sativa. I roll it up. We smoke. We have a little deep session. Tana would never have a session like a me session ever again in her life. I'm piping myself up way too much. No, but seriously, like, I'm a fun time. You smoke with me. You sit down with me. You light a blunt with me. I'm a fun time. I really am. And I just feel like me and Tana would, like, connect. Do I sound crazy? Yes, I do. Tana is up there as one of the people that, like, I want to smoke with i want tana to be my fucking smoke buddy at some point in life or like at least just have a session with her a session but tana doesn't seem to fucking notice me i'm a little teed off about that ho and plus i will introduce you to like all of the bomb snacks all of the munchies all of the legendary munchies all of the things that i create me being high right now is really boosting up my fucking confidence but like seriously i feel as though there's no time like a crazy time i sound so conceited oh my god i would have us like making shit that like you would never even think of making you don't know what you're missing tana you don't know what you're missing sis i love just having like a smooth session I like sessions that like everybody meshes we smoke we're on the same wavelength we're like talking about the same shit we're on the same like pattern I like to connect with people while high because I feel like that's like the best time to connect with somebody you're blunted up I'm blunted up let's talk about some deep shit and cry together people get each other nobody's doing too much Nobody is like scared in the back. Everybody's on the same wavelength. Tana Mon Ho Ho, I, like, I would be on the same wavelength as you says. I like bonding with people and really picking their brain, really vibing through music, through food, whatever. Just a vibey time. We love a vibey moment on this channel, we do. I've said this before, like smoking just relaxes me. Smoking in general just calms my nerves because I have a lot of nerves. And, and just calms my nerves, keeps me calm, keeps me focused on whatever I need to be focused on. I really want to plan like a big 420 party. I always say this like every year and like I know it's past 420, but it's something that like I truly want to do. But like I don't want to plan a 420 party with people that I'm not going to truly mesh with and, and vibe with. Like if you catch my fucking drift. <laughs> this is gonna get deep okay but you know whatever i'm high so i'm in the mood for this deep shit lately like i just want to be off the grid <laughs> like i truly don't want to talk to people i truly don't want to answer anybody i don't want to be around anybody i'm just not around the right people and that's just truth to the matter you know there is people that i love and care for and cherish so much but there's a lot of people that aren't even with some of the people that i do care for our mindsets don't mesh and it's not helping me elevate right now i've just been stepping back farther than i've already have i just don't want to interact with people and it's sad to say and it's sad to talk about but i just don't i'm on the verge of really saying fuck everybody and i'm really at that point 
point where it's like I don't want to meet new friends or meet new people if they're not going to be for me if they're not going to be consistent mesh with my you know mentality you know I'm not saying you know be the same as me and you know think the same have the same traits and no none of that I like people who are different and that I can you know learn different stuff from and vibe differently with it's just you have to be on the same mental level as me and that just hasn't been the case with some people yes it has I will not discredit some people that are in my life that are right here but a lot of people aren't and just I don't want to be around people and I don't want to smoke with people I'm literally chiefing it up in my bedroom like literally Bob Marley Cheech and Chong style like chiefing it the fuck up Snoop Dogg style and this bitch Wiz Khalifa style and this bitch literally chiefing it up in my fucking room and just smoking the hell out of my shit and just being with me I want to meet new friends and like I want to come across new people and you know I'm trying to do that it's just I have to leave a few people behind to do that by a few I mean a bunch so let me just not fucking lie there I mean a bunch of motherfuckers I want new beginnings and back to you know the um 420 party it's something that I feel like I've talked about before like on here but if not, like, it's something that I really want to do because I've never done anything big for, you know, for a 20. And I know that it's not a, like, actual big holiday and, like, it doesn't really matter, matter. But, like, it's still something fun to celebrate because if you smoke weed and if you're a stoner, why not celebrate for a 20 the way you want to celebrate it? And I just haven't had that because I haven't had the right people around me to enjoy, like, that day. <laughs> Either some drama's happening or, you know, some shit goes left or you know somebody's upset or you know i just haven't had smooth 420s and i just want to have a smooth 420 and i'm just rambling on here but like seriously it just all goes back to like there has to be somebody out here that i can truly vibe with smoke with somebody that i can explode with that doesn't make sense we're gonna leave that somebody or people that can be on my wavelength that i am on now not my past wavelength not you know my past me you know somebody who can keep up with me now and benefit to me now because i'm dealing with a lot of cruddy shit and I don't need any more cruddy people in my motherfucking cruddy life. Damn, that got fucking deep fast and I didn't really mean it to, but hey, my channel, I do what I want to. That's why I'm reaching out to Tana Monja. Okay, that's why I'm reaching out to you. No, but this is all in good fun. Like, I'm just on here to ramble and, and talk. But Tana, if you want to make, like, a little boy's dream come true, just hit my line. You know, slide into my DMs. No, don't slide into my DMs. Because I'm not going to answer because I'm not on there right now. So Tana would be fucking ghosted. Okay. Not like she hasn't been ghosted before, but, like, she would be fucking Caspered. My Instagram and just my social medias in general are just a just a fucking wasteland like like dead everything's dead tana i would be the best smoke buddy of your life hold on the best smoke buddy of your life <laughs> oh my god but seriously like i love me some tana mojo and i love that she's on fucking mtv now bitch making moves making money moves bitch with that fucking two dollar bill that goddamn money clip that you had on tana is making motherfucking money moves period as you should be bitch let people know that you're a train wreck but you're a train wreck with money i hope to meet her one day and i can't wait to see like where she goes what bigger and better things she's going to do because she's really doing it fucking too doing it and also being engaged to Jake Paul like I said before I approve of this whole entire thing so if she's really engaged go for you I hope you know what you're doing but I approve because I think that it's crazy but like it's like not a bad crazy Jake Paul and Tana are like good crazy like Tana and Jake by themselves are like bad crazy but like together they're like good crazy but yeah so love me some Tana Tana um I hope you see this and you never do because all you do is fucking ignore me I'm just kidding but um Tana I I love you subscribers people who watch me i love you i love you a lot my edible video is now at 9.7 thousand views can't wait for it to hit 10,000 because that's going to be like oh my god like 10,000 people fucking watch my video i made 10,000 people high as hell i really did that <laughs> i'm gonna go i smell the food and i can't even focus on this shit anymore so i will see you guys in the next vlog or video whatever the fuck let's see if i still remember my outro i haven't been on here in a goddamn minute it. Be real, be true, stay high, bye bye. Be positive. Hope you're having a great summer.
Um, don't get pregnant. Don't take drinks that random people give you. I will see you guys in the next one. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys.